Welcome to the Peninsula Yacht Club. We're going to talk a little bit about PYC Fueling Safety. It's a beautiful day today. I think it's going to be roughly 86 and sunny. So this is Braden, one of our uh, uh, team members here at the PYC. Braden. He's fueling the boat up right now. As you can tell, everybody is off of the boat. We ask everybody to vacate the boat for safety. Gear and fueling, all blowers, engines, electronics, everything will be off on the boat. He always is going to want to take this boat to 90%, leave 10% room for expansion. And uh, during these, this time of year, cool nights, warm days, the fuel can expand in there. These boats have vents and the fuel could likely come out and get in the water and we want to prevent that. So he'll take it to 90% or ask the member uh, uh, how much fuel they're going to need so that we can prevent overspill. We have fueling rules on the gas dock that you can see. There is a process down here. We'll always be happy to help you and provide assistance if need be. So our signs are posted down here. So just take a few minutes to read them. It'll go through briefly some of the steps that we just talked about. But if you have any questions on any further fueling safety, just let us know. We have a great team of guys and girls down here, and we're happy to help you. The boat has been fueled right now, and everything has been done safely. The, the next big step will be to cut the blowers on and let the blowers run for at least five minutes. If blowers don't work on a boat like this with an enclosed engine compartment, you would want to lift the engine compartment and let natural ventilation happen for at least 10 minutes. Outside of the blowers, you still want to lift that hatch, do a quick visual inspection to make sure that there's no fuel in the bilge. There should never be any raw fuel in the bilge, so there should never be any fumes in the bilge. So if you ever see that, do not crank the boat. We can get you assistance and have somebody look at that, but you should never have any fuel in the bilge. So just make sure safety, 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 uh, fueling safety is very important for us down here and we want to make sure that we keep everybody safe. Again, if you have any questions, just let us know. Right. Uh, isn't that the truth? I gave up on that about eight, ten months ago. That's uh, what you got to do. So this is obviously a diesel boat, but we want to stay consistent to make sure that rollers are still turned on after fueling. The same rules apply, just so that we have a standard operating procedure out here on the gas Okay. All right, so obviously a PWC, a personal watercraft, so fueling, again, pretty much the standard procedure. Same rules apply, but this vessel does not have a blower. So what we're going to suggest and obviously recommend is to pull the seat back so the engine compartment can fit. Because again, there's no blower. The only way that you're going to be able to get, fit, get the fuel vapors out of the engine compartment, you're going to have to pull the seat back. There's a uh, sticker right where Brady is fueling that tells you what to do. So we just ask once we get done fueling, just pull it back and make sure you fit that area. 